Okay, we are facing off against Thalen in the mid lane. Well, that can be very nice. Ooh, we are finally in the game. Yay, we did it. 50 trillion years of load screen. Okay, let's see. So first, stop to carry a game, mute all pings because you don't want to hear anything anymore from your teammates. Because all they do is uh, pinging nonsense. You know, and of course the entire team is trying to play against you, so they will just try to tilt you with the pings. Which means moving or like muting them is the correct uh, option. And as you can see, the game is starting very great. He's playing very safe. I don't mind it, he should lose maybe some minions and he still gets it anyways as you can see it's a bad position though for me because i i'm easy like i can be ganked very easily so i wanna break the freeze asap which you did now that was an interesting trade by him not sure if I agree with it. I feel like it's a little bit... I can actually kill him. Mm. Yeah, I'm dead now. I thought... wasn't... I thought I hurt him right side. My bad, I guess. Mm. I mean, it's fine though, I guess. Maybe not. Oh yeah, as you can see, I got ganked. But it's fine. It took me too long to realize how I got my lost chapter now, and I will show the Javan why the gank is completely meaningless in the end, because I will win anyways. Keep being annoying to him. See? Now he actually tanks minion damage, because he doesn't want me to give the plate, which is good for me. I can potentially one-shot him now, but waiting for Ignite would be better. We hard off because we don't want him to recall, because there's a chance that he might recall. And now we actually slow off. So like, we use the Q so he knows we are about to like, make him lose entire wave if he doesn't stay. And the moment he shows that he actually stayed, that's the moment where you just lost it. Because now what happened, what's like happening, see, his next wave is coming back. So now he gets a shit recoil. It's like a little trick. Now he shove again. Now what is he gonna do? If he recalls, he loses the wave. And if the moment I see him not recalling, I'll just last it. Because we have time. And now he never gets a good recall timing. Because me not insta shoving it. Basically starts the process, you know. And now we hit him again. And as you can see, he has troubles. And now we do this. Okay, now we actually can kill him as well. So now we shove a little bit more. He probably recalls now, by the way. I don't think he stays. Let's see it. Okay, he recalled and TPs. It's fine. Because now we got the second plate. And now we are like 71 CS to 48, see? Now if I kill him once, I'm 100% ahead of him in gold. And this, this usually happens when your entire team is losing, so... It would just get corner camped by literally everybody. But, we made it work and we actually punished this asshole trash. Sorry for the flame, but he made me very aggressive, you know. Yep. We have 1 hour 13 CS in 11 minutes, that's 10 CS per minute, we got a kill, alone. And our entire team hopefully is gonna step up at some point and... Doesn't fall any more, like, too much behind, you know? 
Like maybe they go even now, who knows? And of course you win your matchup still, despite being permacant. But so is Giga low, so this is good for me. I absolutely do not like the Swift Hilt, but like I have no ultimate and he cast it so early, Talon is probably cancel his recoil. Okay, it's not bad. Never mind, it was a 5 hat. Giga 5 hat, Rift Hilt. I'm dead probably though. I mean, it's the wolf though. I got a first blood tower, that's really nice. Now we need 3 items to carry this. Next item, Shadow Flame, and then Lich Bane, of course. So now we can actually go, we have a good roam angle. So Talon is basic base, he has to catch the mid lane wave. But see, this is what I mean also. Like now my bot lane, for example, are in a very shitty situation. So there's just no real like moment for me to roam. I'm coming now, if my team plays it nice, I can do this. I can kill two. Bait it. See? And this is what you have to do in my opinion. I think this is how you have to play the game. Because I could have sure, I could have like camped bot lane, right? But then I will lose minions and stuff and you just cannot carry these games. Like it's too much flip, if you know what I mean. Like if your team is behind, you just need to maximize gold. And sometimes you also need luck. And in this game, for example, I have a little bit of luck because the enemy is greeted and they allowed me to get kills and a good roam while also not losing a single CS. And now we are like almost 170 CS in like 50 minutes. And we are pushing it. I was close, definitely. We need 300 gold for my next item. Okay, we need to go ASAP to bot lane. Okay, it's not a bad, not a bad. We lost one minion. Okay, and we got an item basically. Now we shove out the wave. We pretend that we roam mid, but we actually recoil. The Drake is about to spawn in 15 seconds. I will ping now that I have my items. I'm really strong, but it's just two, two item power spikes, so actually not that much strong. I kinda wanna kill them, I hope that... I said I hope that Nami gives me E. So I can kill the trash easily and help them, but she didn't really give me E. But we got the Drake and there somehow survived. Okay, we push the wave, go to mid lane, in first into blue buff of course. And okay, now I go into blue buff. Fast in the blue buff, we need it anyways. What is the trash cooking? Okay, we go back bot lane, everything is fine. Just keep the CS up. So all I can do right now is pushing this tower. And we will get very close to the Lich Bane when we get this tower. Very, very close. I think we need 400 gold more, which is two base. Chin choked. Okay, I don't want to risk too much. We got the gold now. We actually have our power spike basically. This is very lovely. I don't know why my team is doing the bam. Apparently they are doing the bam. Because I killed Jin and bot lane or what. It's okay. Very, very terrible. Very terrible by my teammates. This is very unnecessary. All they had to do was doing nothing. I have an interesting idea here. They might rotate to Drake ASAP. The enemies, so maybe I can kill somebody. And if they don't rotate, I wish to shove mid. We get the Drake for free. Okay. 
But now we one shot this guy. We keep grinding these CS. Okay, my bot lane just got collapsed mid. I come back mid. I can maybe... Yeah, I can kill Jin. I can kill Trash if I do it clean. I can kill them. 100%. Okay, Jin I'm trying to... I misplayed. It's fine, it's fine. Nami shouldn't have done anything anymore and just won. Then she lives and I get the kill anyways. But, we killed three people. Not too bad. I could have slightly done it better. Am I so, opinion? anyways, we need another 1000 gold for the rubber dons and we are at four items. Maybe I can s kill the Silas? But he is so tanky, it's actually crazy. It's not too bad because our gun is spit pushing the tower. I don't know why Ash doesn't ultimate sooner. Definitely could have killed the German there. If she just ultimates, of course. Now we 100% will give this Drake 100% because our gun just entered. And I need 150 gold. Right. The good thing is, my gun did a great job of actually getting the bot in hip. I really like that one. one. Okay, so Silas has no TP. So there's a potential that we can do this. And I think we actually might get it for free. Okay, 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 it's good. I don't care, I don't care. We ace them and we get the bam and we have supers pushing. Wait, we can maybe end, we can maybe end. This could be the end. This could legit be the end. We, we, I think we legit won the game. We won the game. <laughs> nice. I like it. Go, 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 go. And this is how you carry a game, ladies and gentlemen. What can I say? Crystal clear. The 